Hello everybody, this is Jonathan and today I'll be installing NixOS. So NixOS is an independent Linux distro that comes with um, unstable as well as stable version and it uses the Nix package manager. Okay, let's get started right now. So I'm going to click on this download button. I'm going to scroll all the way down to a see NixOS for the Nix distribution. We can download for graphical ISO image, means which means it will come with a desktop environment. They provide only two at the moment. They provide GNOME as well as Plasma Desktop. Or our guys can go with the minimal um, ISO image, which does not contain the graphical user interface, um, but it's smaller in size. So if you guys want to do things from the command line, then you guys can download the minimal ISO image. Um, yeah, okay, let's go ahead and run the graphical ISO image. And the one I'm going to be downloading is GNOME 64 bit Intel and AMD. Just select which desktop environment you basically want to use. You can use Plasma as well. So then I click onto the GNOME and it should start downloading. So I basically have finished downloading the ISO image. I will now go ahead and create a new photo machine. And um, what guys can install it to a hardware for one or two. Um, by using a USB stick, but in this video I'm going to be installing to PhotoBox. So I'm going to create a new photo machine. I'll just call what this one Nix OS. I'll go ahead and select the ISO image by going to other. I'll go down to the downloads directory, and I should be able to select the Nix OS GNOME 24.05x8664. I'll go and select this one. Click on to open. And that should allow me to use this ISO image. I'll go for um, Linux, and that should be, yeah, that, that's fine as long as it says 64 bit, that's going to be fine. I'll select next, give it as much memory as I truly want. I'll give it as much process as, as I truly want. So I'm going to go around four, I think four is fine. And it's a good amount of memory for the GNOME desktop environment. Let's now select next. Give it as much storage as it really wants, so you guys can give it. Oh, that's way too big. <laughs> I'll give it around maybe 30 gigabytes. I think 30 gigabytes is good enough. Now, let me go ahead and select next. I will select now finish. And that should um, finish setting up the VM. I'll go now and start up the VM, and hopefully it does boot up. Okay, now let's go ahead and select NixOS 24.05.2704 installer okay so it basically does finish um, booting up the system um, and it opens up the installer automatically. But before we do install it, um, please feel free to um, play around with GNOME um, just to see how well it runs on my hardware and to see if I like it in general, if I like the way it works, if I like the way we can interact with it and test out some of the applications. As you guys can see, I'm using System Monitor. Once you've finished playing around with GNOME, and if we don't like it, that's totally fine, because um, with this installer, we'll be able to choose other desktop environments. For example, you guys can install um, Plasma, and you guys can also install Budgie, and LXFCE, and many more. Okay, so over here it says, Welcome to Phoenix OS installer. In this program will ask you some questions and set up Nix OS on your computer. So go and select your language. Um, which for me would be British English because I live in the United Kingdom. Now select next. Select your time zone. Uh, automatically chosen London, which is totally fine. But if I live elsewhere, for example, if I live in the United States, just select um, your time zone in the United States. Um, for example, if we choose something like um, Denver, then it will just use this time zone. But right now I'm in the United Kingdom, so I'm going to select London. Now I'll select next, and then from here I'll be able to um, set up the keyboard layout. And for me, I'll be using English UK because that's my keyboard layout. Select next. From here, I'll be able to enter your name. So now we'll be creating our own user. So I'm just going to call this one Jonathan. Um, let's log in as Jonathan Chowies. So that would be my username. And you guys can enter a password. 
um, I would recommend you guys to have this one enabled. It requires strong passwords. Um, if you are running this on real hardware, but I'm going to disable it because um, this is just a demo of how guys will be able to install it. So I don't need to have like a strong password as I'm doing this inside of VM and for um, tutorial video reasons. Okay, so now I can give it a a pretty strong password for sure. Okay, so you guys can choose to log in automatically without asking for the password. I would personally have this one disabled. I think that we should have to um, enter your password to log into the system. Okay, so let me go ahead and enable this one, which says use the same password for the admin account. That one is fine, but obviously you guys can set up a password for the root user if we truly wanted to, if we want to have it like a different password to the Jonathan user, but I'm going to use the same one as the one my user is using, which is one, two, three. I'm now going to say next, and then from here I'll be able to choose your desktop environment. So we here they have GNOME, they've got Plasma, they've got Plasma 5, um, which I do believe might be an older version, and they also have XFCE, they have Pantheon, they also have Cinnamon, they have Mate. Um, Cinnamon is um, what, do, what you use on the next mint. Mate is quite a lightweight distro um, desktop environment. They also got Enlightenment, and they also got LXQT which is more lightweight and they also got budgie they got deep lane and they also have an option to choose no desktop so it just be left with a terminal um if you guys want to have like a server or if you guys are feeling really nerdy then you guys can use this only for command line but i'm going to go ahead and say no uh, because that's the desktop environment i want to use so now go ahead and start next Next OS is fully open source, but it also provides software packages with unfree licenses. By default, unfree packages are not installed, but we can enable it here. If we check this box, software installed might have additional end user license agreements att attached. If not enabled, some hardware might not work fully or no when no suitable open source drivers are installed. I would recommend to enable this if you have a video graphics card if or if you want to play some games on Steam, I would recommend to enable um, allow on free software. Um, so it will hardware like when your video drivers will be able to be installed and will be able to play games on Steam because Steam is closed source. Okay, now go ahead and start next. Let's just erase the entire disk, shall we? And we can choose to have a swap petition or not. I'll just go ahead and not have a swap petition. Um, now I'm going to set next. Um, this is an overview of what will happen once you start the install procedure. Um, so over there it says back and it says install. Um, so let's go ahead and install it. And it should start installing the system. This shouldn't take too long to do. I'll be back once it's done. Okay, so it looks like Nix OS has been installed. You guys can press on to restart now and then click on to done and that will just restart the system. But what I want to do is I want to get rid of the ISO image. So I'm going to go and power off this VM. Go into settings. I will now go to storage and now I'm going to get rid of the um, ISO image. Remove it, remove and now if I press on to OK. If I now press the start button, hopefully it does put me up. Nix OS. I like the grub menu, it looks pretty nice. Let me enter the password, and there should only be GNOME right, yeah. There's on the enter key. Okay, so it looks like I was able to get NixOS installed, and it's working completely fine with using the GNOME desktop environment. It's as simple as installing Ubuntu, Linux Mint, or any other distribution that you guys might have used before. Um, for example, Majoro. And a bit of that graphical glitch, but it might be just part of my photo box. <laughs> but yeah, NixOS installation is not that difficult at all. Obviously, if I do install the, um, the minimal ISO um, image, then it might be a little harder to install because it'd be installed through the command line. But I may do a video of it in the future. But this video was trying to get NixOS installed with using the graphical installer. And it's not that hard to install. It's like installing Ubuntu. 
Um, if you guys know how to install Ubuntu, then you guys probably know how to install NixOS. If you guys like this video, please put a like and please subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.